Welcome back everybody to Workshop Showcase Wednesday. Today we are back with Empyrean Galactic Survival looking at a very interesting small vessel. Today we are taking our look at the utility vessel. So as the name suggests, this is a utility vessel meant to be more of a workhorse type vessel than a fighter vessel. Inside this vessel we have an armor locker, we have an O2 station we have a mobile constructor our fuel tank generator core o2 tank another mobile constructor got some rcs peeking through there we have a fridge up front a cargo box and an ammo box now this currently has no weapons mounted on it however if you wish to put weapons on it there are three spots on the top of the vessel marked with x's that you can use to mount some weapons this vessel is very fuel efficient and as you can see i have a little less than 50 percent power capacity right now in my tanks and i have over nine hours of standby time even with the thrusters and rcs all running at the moment besides the fuel tank you can see readily here there's actually a total of four fuel tanks in the vessel along with two generators we have a total of three o2 tanks which gives you plenty of oxygen capacity you have a significant number of thrusters and reverse thrusters along with four RCS. Now the lower count of RCS may make you think that this would be a little problematic as far as speed and turning. However, this vessel is very maneuverable and as you can see gets around 30 meters a second on every direction. This vessel is also very resource conservative and is a much lower level vessel so it's easy for you to build early off in the game with very little resources required for it now at the front one thing you'll notice is that there are markings for shutters ramps spotlights and interior lights on each side now this may have been done earlier before the switches were implemented in the game so maybe this will be updated later but you can actually trigger a small shutter door which with the signal logic causes all of these shutter doors to open or close so when it's closed you know that the shutter doors here are going to be closed and vice versa the same with the ramps when you implement this for the ramps it will sit there and open or close the ramp there do the same with the spotlights which work extremely well it has a group of spotlights one in each major direction around the ship allowing easy visibility if you need it as a work area when you're out and about now you can, if you wish, turn on and off the interior lights to save power, though I think most of the time you will end up just leaving the lights on. Now this is not exactly something you have to do, though it does make it easier to go and hit F to turn on or off things with these than having to go into P and hit a switch for on and off and having to do custom groups for that. While this is a utility vessel, it is designed to be modular so that you can modify it how you want that is why there are no weapons attached so you can actually choose what weapons you would like to add to it and put them on yourself you can also choose how you want the middle section laid out here i have taken the middle section and placed four armor lockers in addition to the one there and you can see that this gives me some extra armor storage but it also kind of stands out from here because of the way this ramp door is done so if you're wanting to do something like this I would suggest removing the ramp door and putting just a solid wall or maybe with a small set of windows there that you can see out of. Now I have elected to block off that entire door frame uh, with cargo boxes which incidentally still leaves me room to get back here and get to everything behind here if I need to but gives me a lot more storage capacity as you can see a total of six per row and four rows total so that is 24 cargo boxes there giving me plenty of storage per cargo box for going out and mining or more importantly disassembling a poi now as i said this is a very maneuverable small vessel because of the way it's designed to be equally maneuverable in every direction as you can see i have no problem turning thanks to maneuverability and the hardened steel blocks along with armored glass this is a very secure vessel and can be used as a fighting vessel if need be, though because of the overall design, I would recommend uh, staying away from that simply because in the end, one of those ramp doors is going to go first and your cockpit may not take enough damage to protect you at that point. 
So what is my final verdict on this vessel? Well, for me, I wish I had found this vessel much earlier in the game. This is a very useful vessel for an early game player, but not so much for a mid to late game player. I don't think you're going to have to worry about building something like this once you get to a certain point in the game because you'll have more resources and can build some larger and more elaborate designs that maybe have a little bit more items of what you need. Because of its lower resource requirement, this is a very good vessel for early game players because it doesn't require any Arrestromers Escosium and it is adjustable for your needs, what you would need early off in the game, and you can add whatever weapons you choose to add or can afford to add based on your available resources. If you've liked the video about this vessel and wish to check it out yourself, I'm going to have a link in the description below so you can go and get the workshop design and try it out in your own game. If you like the video itself, make sure you hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit subscribe, tick the notification bell so you get notified during the week when I post six days a week. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with everything I'm posting during the week. Also, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked about this vessel. Let me know what you didn't like about this vessel. If there is another vessel you'd like to see me try and do in my workshop showcase, let me know. I'll try to put you on my list. That's it for today's episode of Workshop Showcase. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next video.